Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov slash apod. And today's picture for July the 10th of 2020, well, it is titled Comet Neowise from the ISS. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image taken from the International Space Station, and you can see portions of it around the top and the right-hand side. And down below, of course, you can see the Earth, and in many cases here, we can see the curvature of the Earth. So it's showing how the Earth is actually a sphere, and we're seeing a portion of it here. And you can be able to tell that once you get up to the distance of the space station, and you're a couple hundred miles up above the surface. Now, of course, what we're pointing out here is the comet towards the left-hand side, and that is the comet known as Neowise. And it is a comet currently visible in the morning sky. So if you look right before sunrise, and this image was taken on July the 5th, you can see the comet there. It's actually visible to the naked eye, although it will be disappearing uh, in towards the sun and then will reappear in the evening sky shortly. So again, a chance to be able to see a comet, not incredibly bright, it is visible with this, with the unaided eye, but binoculars would really help give you a great view of this comet. So a good chance to look for that and see a little bit about this comet. And you can use some of the links below to be able to learn a little bit about where to look for the comet, where to be able to see it. And those can help you identify where the comet is in the sky. Now, it's still in the morning sky right now, but over the next few days, we'll actually be transitioning. And over the next week, it will also be visible in the evening sky. So you'll be able to see it right before sunrise or right after sunset. So a good chance to look for this, and it's heading higher north in the sky, heading towards the Big Dipper in the constellation of Ursa Major. So be very prominently visible, and if it brightens a little bit more, it should be a nice sight for those in the Northern Hemisphere to be able to see. Now that is not the only astronomical object that we see here. If you look off in the distance, you can also see a number of other number of stars and other objects. The brightest object towards the right, the, just above the uh, Earth, would be the planet Venus. And Venus is visible right now as the morning star. So if you up before sunrise and look off to the east, you can see a very bright object there, and that is the planet Venus. And we can see that here from the International Space Station as well. And if you look straight up from Venus and just slightly to the right of it, you can see a cluster of stars, and that is actually the open cluster known as the Pleiades. So the Pleiades star cluster uh, is vis visible here in this image as well. So we get to see all different things at very different distances, including the comet off to the left, Venus uh, down towards the lower portion to the right, and then up above, far more distant than either of those, the Pleiades star cluster. So that was our picture of the day for July the 10th of 2020. It was titled Comet Neowise from the ISS. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then... Have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.